Good morning guys, it's Grace. Uh, today's video is going to be about strange things that you uh, probably didn't know that you could recycle. Um, I got it off of an article from Mental Floss that will be linked in the, the description. Um, I didn't include everything. Uh, the article had 25 things, I only have 20. So, let's get started. Um, the first one is dentures. Uh, dentures may have $25 worth of recyclable metals, including gold, silver, and pal palladium. I don't know if I pronounced that right. The Japan Recycling Association is known to take old dentures, remove and recycle the metals, and discard the rest because it's illegal to reuse uh, the stuff that they have to discard. They discard it because it's illegal to reuse it. And the program has donated all of its earnings to UNICEF. Um, for almost all of the things that I'm going to list, there are links in the article if you have stuff you want to recycle, like dentures. There's a link to the Japan Recycling Association in the article, so go check out the article and click on the links if you are interested in donating or recycling any of this stuff. The second one is holiday lights, um, which I actually didn't know you could recycle those, I just didn't know how. But HolidayLEDs.com takes old lights, shreds them, and then sorts the remaining PVC, glass, and copper. And then those raw materials are taken to another recycling center to be reused. So um, I'm sure there's other ways you could do it. Um, but that's just one way. Because I know, um, I've heard before that you can recycle Christmas lights and stuff. I just never knew how. Um, not that I really had any to reuse or recycle anyways. But... That was something I did know. The third one is sex toys. Uh, the first step is to send it to a specialty processing plant, plant to be sterilized and sorted. And then um, all the mechanical parts are salvaged, refurbished, and resold. And then silicone and rubber toys are ground up, are quote, ground up, mixed with a binding agent, and remodeled into new toys, end quote according to a website called Sex Toy Recycling. Um, metals, plastics, and other leftovers are recycled into conventional products. Um, the fourth one is hotel soap. Um, some hotels will keep the used soap that people leave behind um, and send it to clean the world. Over there, the soap is soaked in a sanitizing solution, treated to a uh, steam bath, and tested for infections. And once the soap is deemed safe, it is distributed to less fortunate people around the world. Uh, so that's a good cause. It doesn't, uh, the hotel doesn't reuse it for their own benefit. They donate it to people less fortunate, which I think is a, always a good thing. Or I guess clean the world donates it so the hotel soap or the hotels donate it to clean the world who then donates it to less fortunate people uh, mattresses is the fifth one which um, on when me and my friend cleaned the desert we picked up a mattress and there were at least two out there but we only picked up one of them because I didn't uh, my parents were gonna be mad at me if I picked up both but um, it's good to know that they can be recycled. Somebody else picked up the other mattress. Uh, once we were, uh, the day after we cleaned the desert, there were people out there cleaning, and I think they picked up the other mattress. And I still have the mattress that we picked up in my backyard. But um, it's good to know they can be recycled, so maybe people won't dump them out in the desert. But um, mattress recycling factories are equipped with special saws, and because of that, they can separate the wood, foam, metal, and cloth. The springs are magnetically removed, the wood is chipped, and the cloth and foam are shredded and baled. I'm not 100% sure what that word means, but it said it, so I put it. Uh, your mattress may become a sundress or maybe some wallpaper in the future, if you recycle it. So, um... I think that more people should start doing that instead of dumping them um, 
in the desert or throwing them away. Uh, the sixth one is cooking oil. Nearly half of all sewer overflows are caused by fats and oils. There are a few curbside programs in the United States that accept used cooking oil where they may send it to a biodiesel plant that will transform it into fuel, which is good. Um, so that we don't use oil because that leads to climate change. I'm not sure if this does or not, but um, it may be an alternative. The seventh one is dirty diapers. You can recycle those. The average baby goes through 6,000 diapers before being potty trained. That's one ton of diapers per baby. The company No Waste recycles dirty diapers at hospitals, nursing facilities, and public restrooms. They sanitize the diapers and then mechanically separate the quote organic matter end quote from the diapers plastic that is compressed into pellets and used to make roof shingles. The paper pulp becomes wallpaper and shoe soles. Uh, so instead of uh, if you have a baby that still wears diapers, maybe you could uh, donate your diapers to No Waste, which there's a link to the company in the article, so go check that out if you have a baby and would like to donate the dirty diapers. Um, the eighth one is CDs. Uh, CDs are made of polycarbonate, which doesn't decompose. The CD Recycling Center the com it, which is a company, the CD Recycling Center, will take old CDs, shred them into a fine powder that is later melted down into a plastic that is used for automotive and building materials and even used as pavement. So, uh, CDs uh, seem to be going out of fashion anyways. Um, so if you have some you don't want because, um, you know, you don't use them anymore or whatever you could do that um, or you could resell them to people who do want them instead of just throwing them away and that makes you some money too as well uh, shoes is number nine send your old shoes to Nike grind where they'll separate the shoes rubber foam and fabric the rubber is used for running track surfaces the foam is used for tennis court cushioning and the fabric is used for basketball court floorboards. So shoes, if they're in really bad condition, I would donate them to Nike Grind. If they're not, you could donate them to homeless shelters or something of the sort uh, to give them to less fortunate people who might need some shoes. Um, if they're just shoes you don't want anymore, I would do something like that personally. Um, but if they're really bad, then you can maybe donate to them to Nike Grind. Uh, number 10 is animal poop. The company Poo Poo Paper turns animal poop into cards, bookmarks, keychains, magnets, jewelry, and more. So if you're interested in um, buying something made out of animal poop, I would go check them out. Or if it says they can take, they do um, cow and horse poop and elephant poop and more. I don't know what the more is, but if you have uh, cows or horses, you could maybe donate it, donate the poop there or turn it into fertilizer, whatever you want. Um, just depends on what you want to do, I guess. The 11th one is trophies. Lamb Awards will take your old trophies and melt them down or reuse them for new trophies. I believe that's talking about plastic trophies. Um, the twelfth one is aluminum foil. Foil is 100% aluminum, which means if it is cleaned well, you should be able to put it with your aluminum cans. However, check with your local recycling plant first. Um, so instead of throwing that away, wash it, make sure no food waste is still on it, and then you could put it with your cans if your recycling plant does take it. Uh, Thirteen is crayons. Uh, the National Crayon Recycle Program melts old crayons and then remakes and resells them. And so far they have saved over 120,000 pounds of crayons, which is pretty good. So this is more for people with kids. If your kids don't really use crayons anymore, uh, you could donate them 
or if they're all broken or something, you can donate them. Number 14 is shingles, uh, like roof shingles. Over two dozen states pulverize shingles and make them into pavement because most shingles are made out of asphalt. And for every ton of shingles recycled, we save one barrel of oil. So check, because it says over two dozen states, so if you are gonna do that, make sure your state uh, is one of those dozen states. If not, maybe you could bring it to a different state if it's not too much of a hassle. Um, number 15 is prescription drugs. This goes for drugs that are not expired. Um, it goes for ones that are still good that you haven't used yet. Uh, some states will let you donate them unused drugs back to pharmacies, and some charities accept HIV medication from Americans who switched prescription, stopped medicating, or passed away, and give them to HIV victims around the world, um, which I think is a good thing to do as well people who might not be able to get HIV medication where they're from, uh, it will go to a good cause instead of just throwing it away or something. Number 16 is fishing line. Berkeley Fishing mixes old fishing line with other recyclable, recyclables like milk cartons and plastic bottles and transform them, transforms them into fish friendly habitats and so far they've saved over 9 million miles of fishing line. I think that's a big one. Fishing line is um, I've been to Apollo Park before, which if you live around here, you know what that is. And we found, we saw, they have a little bridge there and we we're looking down at the, down off the bridge into the water and there was a dead bird um, floating. Well, it wasn't floating. Uh, it was kind of in the middle between like the top, the top of the water and the bottom. And it was completely wrapped up in fishing line. So, um, be careful with that. Don't litter fishing line, please, if you are a person who fishes. Um, or, you know, recycle it or something. Just don't leave it there. But hopefully that, uh, hopefully people stop doing that. Uh, number 17 is wine corks. TerraCycle and Yemen Heart. Recycle them into flat sheets of tile to be used in flooring, walls, and veneer. Um, and then Recork sends them to a company called Soul, which uses them for uh, soles of shoes. Um, I guess it just depends what you want your wine corks to be used for. Number 18 is pantyhose. They are made of recyclable thermoplastic that takes 40 years to decompose. So companies like No Nonsense grinds them down and turns them into park benches, playground equipment, carpets, and toys. Uh, so if you have any of that, you could donate it. Uh, tennis Balls is number 19. The company rebounces, repressurizes old tennis balls so that they can be used again. So don't throw away your old tennis balls. They could be uh, reused into new tennis balls. And the last one is pet fur. Hair uh, soaks up oil really well, and nonprofit organizations such as San Francisco based Matter of Trust accepts pet fur so that they can turn it into oil absorbing mats. And they, uh, I said in the article about how it could help uh, oil in the ocean, that's in the ocean, so. Um, helping like the animals in the ocean get the oil out uh, that's what that nonprofit organization does with the pet fur so if you have a pet that needs to get groomed quite often like Delilah's like that she gets her hair gets really long and we have to groom her not often but uh, every once in a while or if you own a, like a local or not a local but like a home-based pet grooming business which is where we take her to a a home owned place you could donate it, uh, the hair that you get from your clients or like PetSmart could do that with their grooming department or you know whoever but anyways that's all I have for you guys so if you have um, anything that I listed that you could donate I highly recommend doing it uh, so that can get recycled because the less stuff in landfills the better 
in my opinion. The less likely, likely it'll go into the ocean, the less likely, you know, the less litter we have, the less, you know, all that stuff. So, I highly recommend considering donating anything you might have on that list. You could also go check about the other five things I didn't mention on the list if you have any of that that you want to donate. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on Friday.